Renato here, and welcome back to some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I'm trying a new microphone, so hopefully it will go through okay. I am I can see the uh, microphone volume system to the side, and it seems to be picking me up alright, but hopefully it's not too loud, and hopefully it's not too quiet. But yes, our job for today is to go to Hollywood and find Gary. And after that, I don't really know. Let's go see Fat Larry, just in case. Fat Larry might have something something to say to us. Doobie doobie doo pop. What's up, hobo? Partner! Partner! You got anything else for me, Fat Larry? Ooh, you got a cool pistol. I could buy that. Ooh, I could buy an axe. That could be cool. Sales. We've got quite a bit of money right now. We want to keep the blood star. We want to keep the trunk along. Might as well sell that. Might as well sell that. I do want this axe. We'll buy the axe. And I do also want this pistol because it's better than the other pistol we've got. Even though I'm not planning on using it. There we go, we've got some decent stuff. And now we can go. Even though I'm probably not going to be using the pistol, that's a lot better than the pistol we've got, just in case. Where to? Where to? Uh, I'll tell you when the mood hits me. That looks like Hollywood. Yeah, I don't know why... I'm not really sure why everything's different, but I do know there is a... What is it? There is a patch that's come out, but... If I install the patch now, then I get to have the fun of having to start all over from the beginning again. And I don't really want to do that. Oh, but here we are. Ain't seen you here before. And if I hadn't seen you, neither was Isaac. So that's your next stop. And you Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Okay. Assuming it's this way. <laughs> nice. The Lucky Star Motel. Good to be in here for some reason. What mission was it? I think it was muddy. Yes. To the Lucky Star Motel. Very well. Oh, hello. Sorry, no vacancies. Feel free, man. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you need lots of types, man. You, you get stories, you get characters, you get like you know, this is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It's invaluable. You're right. Why are you such a tarnished turn? You know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, not, I'm not a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. Does a writer write, or does he just, like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius? Like, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that's what I write mostly, I guess. Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be like, it's going to be believable. Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff, you know, like, 
what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? Yeah, you can kill him, but there's not really any reason. Nobody to fall asleep next to you? Go ahead and play the radio. Well, you make me jump. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 325 Let's go up here. Which of these doors can I open? Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. Huh. Oh shit. Salvage. What did I just open? Hmm. What the hell is Brother Salvage? Santa Monica. Okay. I guess we'll head back there after we've met. We've met this guy here. Hmm. They're twitching out. So we're looking for a pawn shop, aren't we? Ah, Abram's Golden Age Jewelry. Oh. Okay, we're going through the back. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind. And asking for my help, of all peoples. We're gonna Perhaps. find him. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. I don't Tell me old sincere. fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the sure. Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, Joseph pick K up the item, Kafka. come back. K -A -F -K -A. Not too painful, right? Excellent. In the meantime... In Shut up. Can't record for too long today, so I'm going to try and get through what I can. Joseph K and Kafka. Oh, bloody plate. Oh, 
oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what, never mind. We have to help you. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see, everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here, I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. I've never actually waited here. I'll wait here for a little bit. If nothing happens, I'll cut it out. Anyhow, something seemed wrong, and I, and I wondered if you could call a few people, and... Well, he didn't recognize me at first, and I think it might be drugs or something. He needs our help. Okay. Well, maybe we could check him into a hospital, or, or get the police involved. Well, we can't just leave him here like this. He's... All right, well, call them, and I'll, and I'll keep him here. Just let everybody know he's alive, and that we're going to get him some help. Oh. It's gonna be okay. I don't think that'd be a violation, just being like, oh yeah, by the way, I am alive. No, I'm gonna run away, because I wasn't gonna get taken to the police. That's the last thing I want. You see, if I... If if you were to become a vampire, would you just be, like, totally distancing yourself from everyone? I probably wouldn't. I'm assuming this isn't what I want. Tupacula. So, 
you can actually you can probably pick that up actually so I'm going to turn that off I haven't got an email what did I get an email for nothing useful of course but anyway thank you for watching this will be the end of this episode and I will see you again shortly bye bye everyone